They chose to serve armed only with humor and compassion. They came from all over America, for many their first time away from home. The troops gave them their nickname, the Donut Dollies. We were the reminder of home. We were the girl next door, the girlfriend, uh, the wife, the cousin. This, we were the reason they were fighting. Our job is to give them a touch of home through the medium of game show programs, quiz show programs, or sometimes it was just talking to them. I had a classmate in college at Mary Baldwin. Her name's Caroline Smith. She went over in June and she wrote me a letter and said, Peyton, you've got to come. It'll change your life. And it did. I would tell anybody in a heartbeat I was a donut dolly. I was with the famous Fighting Fourth in Play Coup. I was stationed at An K in the Central Highlands. Um, when I was there, we were attached to the 173rd Airborne Brigade. Well, it wouldn't be uh, unusual to uh, fly um, to a fire base and not being able to get back. We would be walking around in a foot of mud and we just would be soaked and we just all endured it together. <laughs> Once you walk up, you go on a fire base and it's hot and a guy walks up and give you his last cool coke. You understand how much he appreciates you. I was in um, Tikrit, Iraq, and my second deployment was in Balad, Iraq, and my third and fourth were in Bagram, Afghanistan, and my last deployment was in Kuwait. Uh, I learned more through that one year of experience, um, uh, both about myself, but also just about really challenging and stretching uh, what I thought I was capable of doing and what I was maybe afraid of doing. I'm glad I got to support my country. I'm glad I got to serve with the Red Cross. I stayed for 33 years and, uh, and came back and volunteered for another six. And so whenever they call, I'm there. It's so satisfying because these individuals go out and literally put themselves on the line, their lives on the line. There's no finer group of people I've ever worked with. On this Veterans Day, we salute all those who served and continue to serve today in the military and the American Red Cross.